all right ladies and gentlemen after seeing the india video what will happen in india or the probabilities and predictions and after seeing what has happened in bangladesh i got messages from many people asking me to make a similar video for bangladesh to predict what will happen in bangladesh now the question is how do you make a prediction because the predictions will always depend on who is the ruler or who is the leader who is the main man or woman <laughs> but as of uh, bangladesh now it's very difficult to say because there is you know an interim government formed by mohammad yunus and oops sorry and we don't know if he will be the one who will consolidate the power or hypothetically sheikh hasina returns or they will form another government with the other current parties or maybe there will be military rule or somebody rules but by keeping a puppet in the front we don't know that all right so there are all possibilities but for similarity let's assume that whoever is the leader it will be either sheikh hasina so let's assume she returns and she wins or it is mohammad yusuf or maybe mohammad yusuf is not the prime minister but he has somebody installed you know who uh, he advises and that person follows him so let's assume at the moment in the back so in the front whoever is in power but let's assume in the back these two are pulling the strings all right <laughs> or you could assume the one of the two uh, these two are competing and who wins all right so so we'll go time wise so for example every year what would happen all right so and these predictions as you know are made using astrology numerology some palmistry prashna and all this okay so i won't go into the details how i am doing this but that will be very complicated but let's assume mr mohammad yunis is the prime minister or in the front or back or is the main man let's assume all right <clears throat> so his birthday is on 28th june 1940 so june 2024 so birthday of 2024 to 2025 june 2025 i see it's a very it's an amazing time for him to consolidate his power directly or indirectly as i said either he stays or somebody else stays so he's likely to get a lot of respect name fame power position and yeah he can consolidate the power if he wishes so this means even if the interim government is formed uh, the person prime minister or the leader would be running as per his wish now i'm not saying he will uh, be in the background and put a puppet necessarily but nonetheless either he does that or not so either he stays in the front or not he will be a very 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 powerful force till june next year then when his birthday of next year comes june 2025 till june 2026 so essentially the next year next birthday that looks to be very difficult so that period could have lot of violence there could be defamation or he might lose power some of this could happen so it's a problematic time for him it is very similar to what is happen what has happened to sheikh hasina although i don't uh, think that it's necessary that exactly it will play out in a similar way <laughs> but i see it is problematic okay then june 2026 to june 2027 uh, is good for overall life you know things look to be okay for him but the next two years will be extremely difficult so june 2027 to 2029 looks extremely difficult so it looks very difficult you know violence defamation war conflicts people dying and all this crazy mess is there <laughs> then 2030 to 2033 looks good enough but i guess he will be very old by then so if i see his period for the next 5 years till june 2029 this this year looks to be good june this year to next year and then the next year is difficult 25 to 26 then 26 to 27 is average and then 27 to 29 looks to be very difficult okay so that means two years are uh, two years are good actually one year this year june this year to next year is very good then one year is average 
and the between uh, in between one year and the last two years very difficult <laughs> all right so three years are difficult two years are average but when i say year please remember birthday to birthday not january to december okay i've made it very clear <laughs> so that means if he remains in power till 2029 then june 2029 then till then two years would be good and the remaining three difficult so it looks to be unstable okay problem violence all this so does not look to be the best now let's say you sheikh hasina returns and there is you know re-election or whatever let's assume that she's trying to grab power again okay grab in the sense you know democratically not as a dictator or somebody but let's say you she's back to bangladesh politics so what happens so the time till her birthday her birthday is on 28th september 28th september uh, 1947 interesting 1947 it was when india became independent so that so her time from now so today as i'm making this video it is 9th of august from now till 28th september this year so we are another one and a half two months yeah this period is extremely difficult so if she decides to make a comeback it will be a disaster for her. and it's very true because the public sentiment is considerably against her okay so if hypothetically i was an advisor i would have said please stay take asylum in india or somewhere but don't return to bangladesh it will be a disaster for you <laughs> then 28th september this year 2024 to 2025 so september this year to september next year this is a this is a bit this is a period where her luxury might increase you know so she might not have, have to do much in life or she might have problems with some female but her difficulties with court cases and legalities could increase and there could be some defamation so you know there could be calls to bring her or you know whatever to bangladesh and she could be persecuted there legal illegally law wise it's a bit difficult <laughs> but the only thing good is uh, her luxury will increase okay which maybe does not matter to the normal public but yeah she might have a luxurious life let's see where she has it maybe she gets asylum in a good country and she leads a luxurious life there who knows right now september 2025 to 2026 is extremely difficult it is very similar to now so if she comes back it will again end up in a disaster so please if she is wanting to come back she should not attempt during this time there could there could be again you know this coup or revolution or whatever you say and she might be yeah she might be thrown out of her position and country or she might not be allowed to enter or even if she enters she might face jail or other things could happen anyways i hope you get now the next two years are very interesting september 2026 to 2027 is a period where there are big changes in our life could be positive or negative <laughs> now if it is negative it will be very tough for her you know some drastic change she could be dragged to bangladesh or something like that could happen or some member in the family elder member in the family or you know elder or anybody in her in her family could pass away or it could be the other way around extreme positive like she comes back she becomes very popular and you know she becomes prime minister again but the next year september 2027 to 2028 is a great period for her this is a good period for her and this is the strongest possible period for her to make a comeback and september 2028 onwards towards later next 8 9 10 years anyway she will be very old by that is again very difficult so i don't think 
she will be able to sustain even if she comes after September 2028. It's a very similar period to currently what has happened. So in short, for her, September 2027 to September 2028, this is the strongest period for comeback. Now, September 26 to September 27, also she could, but it's very difficult. I cannot make a certain prediction. You know, it could be either very high or very, very low. Okay. But certainly, 20, September 25 to September 26, she should not return. It will be a big problem for her. So, I would recommend if, you know, hypothetically, I was her advisor, what would have I recommended her? Try and make a comeback from September 26 to 27. If it works, great. If not, then just forget about politics. Because if it wor because even if it works, you will only have one good year, September 27 to 28. After September 28, it's anyways all problem. Again, and you'll be how much? Like 83, 84 by then. <coughs> oh, sorry, I she will be uh, 81 at all. The 1947 born, right? Anyways, so... Now, hypothetically, if she wanted, she can still maybe become Prime Minister September 27 to 28. Why? What is the reason? Because for Mohamed Yunus, June 27 to June 29 looks to be an extremely difficult period. So she might try to capitalize on that. So my prediction is best case scenario for her. Not best case, she, you know, could be before, but in my opinion, the best, the prime period is September 27 to 28. Or, if she's even luckier than September 26 to 27. This is also probable, possible, because I said, you know, some big up or big down will happen. But certainly not before that, all right? So, this is what I think. But even if she becomes, I see there's instability, you know, the first two, three years and after 28 also there's problem. So, in short, Either of if either of these two leaders continue, I see there is chaos and mayhem in Bangladesh to a large extent. So all these predictions, you know, that Bangladesh per capita GDP and all this will overtake India. It was supposed to overtake India by end of this year by a very uh, famous uh, YouTuber or by other economists and politicians also and other people in social media that may or may not come true most likely not in my opinion so in short if they remain in power next four five years one of them or they call the strings bangladesh is likely to be in problem for the next five years but suppose some other person comes and you know, or there's military rule dictatorship or something like this happens and these two people have no control. Then we have to see who is the prime minister or who is the army chief. According to that, we will have to uh, see what is happening. But if these two have things in control, then I see trouble. All right. Primarily trouble. There are good things also for both of them, as I said, but primarily trouble. All right. Thank you so much. I hope things turn out well for people in Bangladesh and especially for the minorities like the Hindus. All right. Thank you so much. Please take care.